Welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Rollybot BL618 product review. Uh, well, you probably can't see here, but I have everything out of the retail package that's underneath the box. But as usual, we're going to go ahead and start with the retail quality box. Uh, on the front here, it gives you a picture of the Rollybot there. Uh, accurate representation gives you the model number. Extended battery gives you some UV sterilizing, low noise. Uh, all true, but uh, we're going to go ahead and flip to the back and look at some of the features that uh, it goes over. Uh, it has an object sensor, uh, which is basically, uh, we'll go more into that as we grab the Rollybot. Uh, it has a stair sensor so it doesn't fall, it off, fall off stairs or, you know, fall down anything. Uh, it has caster wheels, uh, charging electrode plate, and, which in fact does work. Uh, these side brushes, and we'll get more into that. Battery, vacuum port, driving wheels, UV sterilizing, uh, and a cleaning cloth. Uh, and of course, we're going to dig more into that, but of course, we just like to start with the retail box. And we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way so we can continue. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice when you open up the box is, of course, is this quick start guide. Uh, it's very accurate, very easy to read, and involves everything you need to learn uh, to just essentially get your rolly box cleaning the floor. Uh, of course, I, I opened it up, went right through these six steps, and everything worked great. So, of course, we do like that. Uh, the next thing you're going to notice when you open the box is this limited warranty. Uh, it essentially covers most things that limited warranties cover. Uh, you know, if it's broken, they'll replace it, but if you threw it downstairs, ran over the car, smashed it with a forklift, uh, of course, that's not covered by the manufacturer's warranty, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. As you can see, the Rollybot's pretty large. Uh, you know, it's, I guess it's about 16 inches across here or so. Uh, check the end of my video for actual specifications. I'm going to go ahead and include all those. Uh, but it's a pretty it's a pretty large device, and we're going to go ahead and go over some of the construction uh, as soon as we get done going over the accessories. Uh, of course, it comes with a charging port here, a uh, pretty standard operation. Uh, it does have a port on the side here, which I did test the Rollybot to make sure it did in fact charge, and it does charge there. Uh, but the method most people are going to use to charge is actually plugging this AC adapter into the wall and then plugging the other part into this easy to use charge port uh, with these two electrodes sitting here. Uh, even when it's plugged in, if you put your fingers there, it won't shock you. Trust me, I tried it. I don't know why. I just have the urge to electrocute myself sometimes. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, there's two electrodes. Uh, so you really never have to really worry about placing it perfectly on there. Uh, it comes with a remote control and when you tell it to go home, it will park itself perfectly on those electrodes. And you know it parks because it actually gives you a, a pleasant sounding voice that says, charging now or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the way, but it is pretty standard uh, charging dock. Uh, one thing that you can't see and I'm pretty sure is in here is infrared sensors. That's the way the Rollybot finds its way home. Uh, it's probably got a couple in here that are shooting out so the Rollybot can identify where its charging base is at. Because uh, when you tell it to go home, you can kind of tell it's going along. Then, oh, I see my base, and it'll go towards it and turn around and park itself. Uh, it's actually kind of neat to watch itself park. Uh, I guess I'm amazed at some simple things, uh, but we're going to go ahead and set that out of the way now. Another accessory it came with is actually uh, this wet mopping pad. We're going to go ahead and flip over the Rollybot here. And we're, see, it knows that I flipped it over. And as you can see here, it has these four parts. Uh, and it plugs in really easy. So we're just going to go ahead and put that there. Essentially what you do is you just wet this down and attach it with this Velcro-like base here. Uh, it has some Velcro on there that connects to the rag. You can wet that down with any cleaning solution you like. Or I just generally used water, honestly, uh, you know, in my test. Uh, but you basically you put it there, and then as it goes around, it will sweep things up in front of it and mop the floor behind it. Uh, the only but downside I saw to that is, in order to do my entire kitchen, I had to wet the floor a couple of or wet this rag a couple of times. Uh, but you know, I mean, it really is nice to have any additional features. Uh, it did work fine. The rag didn't come off, as you can see. It's pretty securely put on there with the Velcro. Uh, so all in all, pretty solid as far as the mop pad. Uh, you know, like I said, the only downside is you got to do it a couple of times, but I have a large kitchen, so maybe if you have a smaller kitchen, it wouldn't even be an issue. You wet it down and let it go, uh, and then you're good. Uh, some of the other things it comes with, it comes with this brush, uh, which is actually a shoe cleaner, which, to be honest, I really didn't need, even though, of course, as you can see, I played with it and checked it out and did all that. Uh, but it does come with that additionally, uh, and it's just another accessory. You always like accessories, so uh, continue on. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the remote control. Uh, the remote control is a pretty handy device. The neatest part about the remote control is that you can actually control the Rollybot like a drone. Uh, so uh, if I had it on right now, which I'm turning it on right now, you just push that center clean button. Uh, you can actually control it. See, I'm turning it left to turn it left, back to turn it back. Uh, you can make it go a little bit back. 
I thought that was one of the neatest features about the Rollybot is that it actually kind of operates it as, as a drone and if you want to kind of irritate somebody it makes it a little bit fun. Uh, so that's definitely a neat thing. Uh, anytime you want the robot to go home, it's not going to go home now. It's not going to be able to detect its home because I don't in fact have it plugged in. Uh, but anytime you click home, it will immediately begin searching for its charging base. Uh, it does a pretty job, good job of going home whenever you need it to. Uh, in my kitchen, it never failed to go home. Uh, but when I did place it like three rooms over in another room and made it find its way home, uh, sometimes it had some problems. So, uh, you know, when you're going down hallways, you may have some difficulties and things like that. Uh, but if you give it time, it generally does find its way home unless you really try to stump it. Uh, which I did, and you know, it did in fact not make it home, but that's only when you place it quite a few rooms away. You have this plan feature on the remote control, and that's actually a pretty neat fe feature. I'm not sure if you can see this readout, but right now, and we're going to go over more over the buttons on the Rolly bot here shortly, uh, but if you push this clean button, it actually, you can schedule it to clean, say, at 2 o'clock every day, uh, and you can use this remote to set it. So you can click plan, uh, and if we want to set it to, say, clean... Uh, and it's on a it's on a 24 hour time system, so 15. That's three o'clock. You click this, and you hear that beep. Now this is set for uh, 15, which is three o'clock. Uh, so of course we like that feature. That's always nice. Uh, it does have some modes, and we're going to go over that as we go over the manual. Uh, you can set the actual clock. You just hold this button down for a couple seconds, and it pops up. Uh, and then you, you, you use these directional indicators to uh, actually set the time and hours. You can see there, this is blinking. It says 13. I don't want to change the time, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop now. Uh, it also has a feature on the remote control called Spot Clean, uh, which I'm not pressing Spot Clean right now. I'm just pressing in circles because I like to play with it like a drone. Uh, but when you collect spot, when you click spot clean, uh, it will leave its charging base and it will go look for dirty spots. Anytime it finds like anything that it considers dirty, uh, it will actually just make kind of like a small, slow loop around it. So it'll clean from the inside of that point all the way out. Uh, I guess that was a handy feature. To be honest, I really didn't use it too much in my kitchen. Uh, I really didn't use the modes very much at all, except in my, you know, to test it out for the reviews to see that it works. Uh, to be perfectly honest, just letting it go and not playing with too much and letting it clean at 2 o'clock every day was definitely my uh, favorite part about this, is that essentially you set the time that it comes out and then you forget it ever even exists, and you don't have to worry about cleaning the floor. Uh, I guess quite a couple of times I let it mop. Uh, but you know you kind of got to be there so you wet the mop down or you wet this down attach it put it on the rolly bot and click clean and it goes around the kitchen and you know cleans the kitchen which of course I love I'm a lazy guy and uh, anything that does anything automatically uh, is something of course uh, I appreciate now we're gonna go ahead uh, the remote control pretty simple works well I really like the fact that you can control the rolly bot manually by making it turn left and right uh, that was one of my favorite features about it uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the construction of the Rollybot itself. Uh, it's made, of course, of mainly plastic. Uh, you can get inside the Rollybot right here. You can see this button that says push, and the entire, uh, you know, uh, the entire display lines up. Uh, this is, like I said, I've used this for over two weeks. It comes with a small HEPA filter to put in, and it comes with an additional replacement HEPA filter. Uh, in addition, it also comes with replacement brushes here, and we're going to go more into the brushes in a second. Uh, but this actually comes with four brushes, even though it fits two. So I have two replacement brushes if those ever you know, break, or I guess eventually they'll be worn down. Uh, you can see the slot right here. That slot opens up directly to the ground. See, I'll just shove that through there. And that's essentially where the Rolly bot sucks dirt through. You can see here, uh, these spin like this and kind of kicks dirt into this hole. And the suction right here is really strong. I was really impressed with the amount of suction that the Rolly bot uh, actually sucks. Uh, it, it's really strong. And even after vacuuming the floor with a standard vacuum, uh, the Rolly bot went over some Berber carpet, which, by the way, this thing is not supposed to be for Berber carpet. It's supposed to be for hardwood floors. Uh, but just to test it and see how great it was, uh, we vacuumed an actual floor using a standard vacuum cleaner uh, and then had the Rollybot go back over it. And I was really shocked at the amount of dirt and lint that this Rollybot picked up uh, that our, our, you know, our standard vacuum, which was a Dyson, it's not a bad vacuum, uh, didn't actually pick up. Uh, so I was pretty impressed with the, with the vacuum suction. Uh, I will say that these beading brushes are great on my kitchen floors, which is a uh, linoleum or tile or something. Uh, but for Berber carpet, it didn't really seem to do much good. However, the vacuum uh, was really impressive on it. 
Uh, so changing it out is pretty easy. Uh, as you can see there, I pulled this thing right out. You can grab that HEPA filter, uh, and it does come with it extra. And you basically just slide it right in there like that, and it stays in. Uh, when you need to empty the trash, it has this snap lock right here. You just lift it right up, and then it has this screen as well. Uh, I did dump it out right before this video, but it gets pretty full. Uh, even in what I would consider a clean kitchen, uh, it sucks up a lot. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put that screen back in, as you can see here. Uh, that's pretty much the, uh, you know, the, the waste canister. And it just locks in right there. It's really easy to change. It's really easy to empty. Uh, so, of course, you like that if you put it in the right way. Of course, it has this angle here. you got it matched up. It slides right in. And now we can go ahead and close the Rolly bot. It has multiple sensors. Uh, this is a bump sensor. Uh, you can see it kind of pushes in uh, when it's going around. Uh, and it bumps into something, that's how it knows that it bumped into something. So as soon as it hits something, it normally turns around, does 180 degree, and goes back the opposite way, uh, depending on the mode you have it set to. If you have it set to mode 4, it turns 90 degrees. Uh, so it really depends on the mode, but like I said, I didn't... I tested the modes for the purpose of review, uh, but in the actual use of the Rollybot, I let it do auto clean all the time, and it did a great job. Uh, so it does have multiple modes, and we're going to go ahead and grab that on page 13. And uh, it has the random cleaning mode, uh, so no mode at all when you're pressing the remote. We're going to go through the modes here. Uh, you know, you go past mode 4 and there's no mode. I'm pretty sure that's the same as mode 1. Well, anyway, I couldn't tell the difference between no mode and mode 1, which is random cleaning mode. It kind of gives you a little picture here of it goes in the room and spirals outward and then does the edges. Uh, it does a pretty good job there. Uh, mode 2 is spiral cleaning. Uh, so what that does, it goes in a perfect circle. It's just when it hits the walls, it doesn't edge along the walls. Uh, mode 3 is edge cleaning only, uh, and that was actually a mode I thought was really neat. It just really will go around chair legs and things like that and constantly bump, 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 and just make a slight deviation in order to make sure that it's cleaning all the way around your chair legs and things like that. Uh, and then you have zigzag cleaning mode. Uh, I, really, I really don't know if that's zigzag or not. It just, as you can see in this little shape here, it's pretty much what it does, some rectangles uh, until it hits the wall so uh, like I said the modes I really didn't see I didn't actually use in real life in my kitchen uh, the edge cleaning mode I did see how it would be a, of great use uh, however I just left it on random cleaning mode or automatic cleaning mode whatever you want to call it and it did a great job so I'm, I just figured if it's doing a great job why play with it uh, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and talk about more some of the other stuff you see these bristles here it is soft bristles uh, they do seem like they'd last a while. There's some kind of plastic or synthetic bristles. Uh, they do come off for cleaning. Well, if I can go ahead and use two hands on it. Uh, they pop right off. There's just like a little square on there. As you can see, they're on there pretty good, so they don't fall off normally in general operation. Uh, but it does come with the two extra replacement. Here's the caster wheel, and that controls direction. You can see the electrodes here. Uh, this is the vacuum hole where, you know, it sucks up dirt. And these are the wheels here, and that's actually what gives it movement. Right here is one of the main features that I really enjoyed of this. You know, I have a couple of animals, so, you know, I try to keep the house clean, but there's always going to be fur, and, you know, with animals come undesirable um, undesirable bacteria and things like that. So this does have a UV, UV light port. Uh, of course, I tested it to make sure it did, in fact, produce UV light, which it does. Uh, but, of course, it's not like I put bacterial colonies down in order to see if they actually died. Uh, so it does have UV light. I'm assuming that, you know, it does kill bacteria. And uh, it does make me feel warm and fuzzy and safe that my kitchen is now UV bacteria clean. So I do like that feature. Uh, of course, I don't consider it like the main function of the Rollybot. I just really wanted to just suck up dirt, and it did a great job about that. But in addition to the sucking up of dirt, uh, it also kills bacteria with UV light. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the manual. Uh, there was some mistakes in the manual. I've actually wrote, uh, I've actually written the manufacturer of Rollybot uh, and had them say, hey, you know, there's some mistakes in your manual. Uh, but they're really minor, and as long as you go through the manual and read the directions, you're going to get through it. Uh, this was obviously written by somebody whose native language was English. It's, there's no, you know, horrible verbiage or things like that. Uh, they're just some basic mistakes. Uh, one of the mistakes you'll notice is actually on page 3. It just goes over the four cleaning modes, and the four cleaning modes aren't actually accurate. Uh, two and three are accurate. The pictures are accurate, just the wording isn't. Uh, but aside from that, it's a solid manual. You're going to make it through it. Uh, and as you step through it, it'll give you directions.
Uh, tells you what all the buttons do, how to open everything, everything's correct. Uh, it's very well written, very easy to understand, uh, and it goes ahead and goes over this one. And now that we have the remote open, we're going to go ahead and go over these buttons here. Anytime you want it to clean, you can press clean on the remote control, or just click on, I'm sorry, on off is also clean. Uh, spot clean is also clean. If you And then you can actually push this clean button, and it's going to tell you to please wait, it charges up, starts spinning, okay, we don't want it to go too crazy on my little uh, photo hut here. Uh, but at any point in time, you can also click home on the Rollybot or on the remote. Uh, you can click plan, and that's to plan it out, and this is to turn the UV light on and off. Uh, so you can see there's a little, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera or not, but right here there's a little, it uh, looks like a light bulb symbol that tells you that whether UV is on or not. And then you have a spot clean option. Uh, so the, it's really easy to understand, of course it's self-explanatory, click clean to clean. Uh, if you want to actually have to set the plan, uh, you click this until you show the time. It says 1414 is the time that it's scheduled to clean. So if you click that, if it's on the 1-1 one, one or the empty screen, click this twice and it'll show you the scheduled cleaning time. Click clean and now these buttons are blinking in order to change them. Uh, you can use home and spot to change the hours and click clean again, it'll take you to minutes and press home and spot to change the minutes. Click clean one more time and bam, you're set. Uh, so the ease of setting the device for the time schedule to clean is really simple. Uh, once you get it home, essentially all you need to do is click plan twice, set the time you want it to clean, uh, and then put it on its charger, or actually just click home, it'll go to its charger by itself, and uh, then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I had to empty the canister about once every two days, uh, but I'm not going to lie, I forgot and didn't clean it out for four days. It just really gets packed hard in there, it's not something I would recommend. Uh, but uh, as much dirt as it picked up, I was really kind of embarrassed about my kitchen. I thought my kitchen was clean until I ran the Rollybot over it for a couple days. Uh, so now that we've went over the display, uh, as of course the manual pretty much goes over exactly what I went to. It's very easy to, very easy to use, very easy to read, uh, and it kind of tells you how to use the remote control on the next page. Very simple. Uh, and then tells you how to work the product, which I pretty much told you to do. It just gives it, you know, a lot more detail about, uh, you know, when it's low battery, this is what it'll do. These are the way the lights will blink. Uh, but overall, it's really simple. It explains you standby mode and sleeping mode. Uh, once it goes to sleep, the only way to get it to wake up is by clicking on or spot. Uh, you know, so if it's actually asleep and the remote controls asleep and you click clock or mode, uh, the Rollybot ro won't respond unless you click on first. Uh, then it tells you how to schedule it using both the remote control and the uh, actual plan button on the remote. Very simple. Uh, and then it tells you how to use the wet mopping cloth, which is pretty simple. Wet it down, stick it on, let it go. Uh, so, you know, we have, a, we have a solid manual, a couple mistakes, but hey, those are forgivable. They will be fixed. I was assured by the manufacturer they would be fixed in an upcoming, uh, in an upcoming model. Uh, but overall, I was really impressed with the Rollybot. It's about half the price of the, uh, you know, the name brand cleaner, the Roomba. Uh, and comparing the Roomba for $500 for the Rollybot for $200 or $250, I think is the MSRP, I would rather have two Rollybots than a single Roomba. Uh, especially, I'd like to have one for my kitchen and one for my living room, uh, especially high traffic areas. But all in all, I was very impressed with the Rollybot. It's definitely a solid choice. Uh, the only disadvantages are one, that you have to wet down the mopping cloth more than once in order to do a huge kitchen. Hey, I'm lazy. I complain. I, I look for things to complain about, and, you know, that's really a minor thing. Uh, and the second thing is, is that it's not, it's not going to make it through two bedrooms, down the hallway, back into the kitchen to find your home. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it for any mazes or, you know, anything like that. Uh, but if you just want to do a standard kitchen or maybe a large living room and things like that, this is absolutely ideal. You're going to save a lot of money by picking up the Rollybot compared to the Roomba. Uh, so all of, overall, get, definitely give it a thumbs up from the Gadget Guide. Uh, this is something I'm really glad I have for my kitchen, especially now that I see how much dirt was really there when my kitchen looks clean. I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.